Today's reading begins in Joshua, chapter 22, starting in verse 21. Then the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the half-tribe of Manasseh answered and spoke to the heads of the thousands of Israel, The Mighty One, God the Lord, the Mighty One, God the Lord, He knows, and Israel shall know, if it was in rebellion or if in trespass against the Lord, don't save us today, that we have built us an altar to turn away from following the Lord, or if to offer burnt offering or meal offering, or if to offer sacrifices of peace offerings, let the Lord Himself require it. If we have not out of concern done this, and for a reason, saying, In time to come your children might speak to our children, saying, What have you to do with the Lord, the God of Israel? For the Lord has made the Jordan a border between us and you, you children of Reuben and children of Gad. You have no portion in the Lord, so your children might make our children cease from fearing the Lord. Therefore we said, Let's now prepare to build ourselves an altar, not for burnt offering, nor for sacrifice, but it will be a witness between us and you, and between our generations after us, that we may perform the service of the Lord before him with our burnt offerings, with our sacrifices, and with our peace offerings, that your children may not tell our children in time to come, you have no portion in the Lord. Therefore we said, It shall be, when they tell us, or our generations, this in time to come, that we shall say, Behold the pattern of the Lord's altar, which our fathers made, not for burnt offering nor for sacrifice, but it is a witness between us and you. Far be it from us that we should rebel against the Lord, and turn away today from following the Lord, to build an altar for burnt offering, for meal offering, or for sacrifice, besides the Lord our God's altar that is before his tabernacle. When Phinehas the priest and the princes of the congregation, even the heads of the thousands of Israel that were with him, heard the words that the children of Reuben and the children of Gad and the children of Manasseh spoke, it pleased them well. Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest said to the children of Reuben, to the children of Gad and to the children of Manasseh, Today we know that the Lord is amongst us, because you have not committed this trespass against the Lord. Now you have delivered the children of Israel out of the Lord's hand. Phinehas the son of Eleazar the priest and the princes returned from the children of Reuben and from the children of Gad out of the land of Gilead to the land of Canaan to the children of Israel and brought them word again. The thing pleased the children of Israel and the children of Israel blessed God and spoke no more of going up against them to war to destroy the land in which the children of Reuben and the children of Gad lived. The children of Reuben and the children of Gad named the altar a witness between us that the Lord is God. After many days, when the Lord had given rest to Israel from their enemies all around, and Joshua was old and well advanced in years, Joshua called for all Israel, for their elders and for their heads, and for their judges and for their officers, and said to them, I am old and well advanced in years. You have seen all that the Lord your God has done to all these nations because of you, for it is the Lord your God who has fought for you. Behold, I have allotted to you these nations that remain, to be an inheritance for your tribes, from the Jordan, with all the nations that I have cut off, even to the great sea, towards the going down of the sun. The Lord your God will thrust them out from before you, and drive them from out of your sight. You shall possess their land, as the Lord your God spoke to you. Therefore be very courageous to keep and to do all that is written in the book of the law of Moses, that you not turn away from it to the right hand or to the left, that you not come amongst these nations, these that remain amongst you, neither make mention of the name of their gods, nor cause to swear by them, neither serve them, nor bow down yourselves to them, but hold fast to the Lord your God, as you have done to this day. For the Lord has driven great and strong nations out from before you. But as for you, no man has stood before you to this day. One man of you shall chase a thousand, for it is the Lord your God who fights for you, as he spoke to you. Take good heed, therefore, to yourselves, that you love the Lord your God. But if you do at all go back, and hold fast to the remnant of these nations, even these who remain amongst you, and make marriages with them, and go into them, and they to you, know for a certainty that the Lord your God will no longer drive these nations from out of your sight, but they will be a snare and a trap to you, a scourge in your sides, and thorns in your eyes, until you perish from off this good land which the Lord your God has given you. Behold, today I am going the way of all the earth. 
you know in all your hearts and in all your souls that not one thing has failed of all the good things which the Lord your God spoke concerning you. All have happened to you. Not one thing has failed of it. It shall happen that as all the good things that have come on you of which the Lord your God spoke to you, so the Lord will bring on you all the evil things until he has destroyed you from off this good land which the Lord your God has given you when you disobey the covenant of the Lord your God, which he commanded you, and go and serve other gods, and bow down yourselves to them. Then the Lord's anger will be kindled against you, and you will perish quickly from off the good land which he has given to you. The Gospel of Luke, chapter 20, beginning in verse 27. Some of the Sadducees came to him, those who deny that there is a resurrection, they asked him, Teacher, Moses wrote to us that if a man's brother dies having a wife, and he is childless, his brother shall take the wife and raise up children for his brother. There were therefore seven brothers. The first took a wife and died childless. The second took her as wife, and he died childless. The third took her, and likewise the seven all left no children and died. Afterward the woman also died. Therefore in the resurrection, whose wife of them will she be? For the seven had her as a wife. Jesus said to them, The children of this age marry and are given in marriage, but those who are considered worthy to attain to that age and the resurrection from the dead neither marry nor are given in marriage. For they can't die any more, for they are like the angels and are children of God, being children of the resurrection. But that the dead are raised, even Moses showed at the bush, when he called the Lord the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. Now he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for all are alive to him. Some of the scribes answered, Teacher, you speak well. They didn't dare to ask him any more questions. He said to them, Why do they say that the Christ is David's son? David himself says in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit at my right hand, until I make your enemies the footstool of your feet. David therefore calls him Lord, so how is he his son? In the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of those scribes who like to walk in long robes and love greetings in the marketplaces, the best seats in the synagogues and the best places at feasts, who devour widows' houses and for a pretense make long prayers. These will receive greater condemnation. Psalm 89, beginning in verse 14. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Loving kindness and truth go before your face. Blessed are the people who learn to acclaim you. They walk in the light of your presence, Lord. In your name they rejoice all day. In your righteousness they are exalted. For you are the glory of their strength. In your favor our horn will be exalted. For our shield belongs to the Lord, our King to the Holy One of Israel. Then you spoke in visions to your saints, and said, I have given strength to the warrior. I have exalted a young man from the people. I have found David, my servant. I have anointed him with my holy oil, with whom my hand shall be established. My arm will also strengthen him. No enemy will tax him. No wicked man will oppress him. I will beat down his adversaries before him, and strike those who hate him. But my faithfulness and my loving kindness will be with him. In my name his horn will be exalted. I will set his hand also on the sea, and his right hand on the rivers. He will call to me, You are my Father, my God, and the rock of my salvation. I will also appoint him my firstborn, the highest of the kings of the earth. I will keep my loving kindness for him forevermore. My covenant will stand firm with him. I will also make his offspring endure forever, and his throne as the days of heaven. If his children forsake my law, and don't walk in my ordinances, if they break my statutes, and don't keep my commandments, then I will punish their sin with the rod, and their iniquity with stripes. But I will not completely take my loving kindness from him, nor allow my faithfulness to fail. I will not break my covenant, nor alter what my lips have uttered. Once I have sworn by my holiness, I will not lie to David. His offspring will endure forever, his throne like the sun before me. It will be established forever like the moon, the faithful witness in the sky. Proverbs chapter 13, beginning in verse 17. A wicked messenger falls into trouble, but a trustworthy envoy gains healing. Poverty and shame come to him who refuses discipline, but he who heeds correction shall be honored. Longing fulfilled is sweet to the soul, but fools detest turning from evil. Thank you.